five tied atop the NEC standings with St. Francis at nine and one in the conference. Shot clock down to three on the opening possession. Johnson the floater through the Evans, trying to cross up Callahan to no avail. A lot of perimeter basketball for right now for LIU, trying to cut inside. Winter will pull up, knocks it down. Defensively to push a Z ball a little higher towards the free throw line. Here's Winter once again, shot clock down to seven. Johnson spin move, Winter from about 12 feet, gets the friendly bounce. And again, the basketball got fine down low. Azebo, though, blew the layup. Montaigne comes up with it, looking to lead the charge. Finds Johnson in the corner. Now step back, in and out. Offensive board and the putback from... One of the best in the conference at doing so. You want to know what happens when they out-rebound their opponents? Only happened four times this year, Keith, but they're 4-0. Well, there's an offensive, or checked out of... He's down there, a lot of big, long bodies. Not easy to attack the paint. Three seconds left in this first quarter. Waith doesn't realize, now fires the buzzer beater and hits it. Just the first half. Montaigne trying to shake Ikamatsu. Now Johnson hard to the basket, nothing doing. That's Robert Morris interior defense not to be reckoned with. Why not, there's Smith for three, got it. Megan Smith, Megan Smith reached the foul. Here's Winter. Hands it off for Petty Evans immediately. Callahan swarms. Shot clock down to five. Open three there for Vontan and knocks it down. And Keith, she got some. Great ball movement. Callahan from beyond the arc, too long. Gets her own rebound and finishes the one from inside. That's the first half that they'll fall here in the second 20. You mentioned the leaders for both these teams. D'Angelique Wade, seven points, five rebounds. There's Jada Johnson firing off a three from the corner. Or check that, she had her first career double-double in the win against Mount St. Mary's. 11 points and 10 rebounds. Out on the perimeter, there's Callahan. Inside, Pluvios gets it to go. They pull me back in. <laughs> there's Ikamatsu, can't bury that one. Waith snatches the rebound. Johnson, baseline drive out to Montaigne. Long two with nobody in front of her, gets it to go. And again, so didn't turn the ball over uh, nine times now, so they are far from perfect in this game. Make that 10. Here's Waith to the hole. Got it. And a timeout. Charlie Buscali is not happy. Del Priori wanting her team to step up the pressure. Wanting that zone to continue out towards the perimeter. Here's Jones. Nice dump off, Azebo from six feet drills it. He's really had the most success when they've been able to dribble drive, get that penetration, and then kick it out to one of their bigs for a mid-range jumper. Shot clock down to 10, here's Richards. Once again to Petty Evans. Almost throws it away. Johnson from the parking lot, got it! Are you kidding me, Keith? <laughs> Mentioned Keith, under head coach Charlie Buscalia. Robert Morris, when leading at the half, IU, only one player in double figures overall. It's Neka Azebo with 11. Uh, we've seen some tough, gritty play from two of the toughest teams in the conference, Keith. That's something that we definitely expected. Yeah, we anticipated uh, the Colonials to do what they do, which they, uh, they do here to open up the fourth quarter. Working it around the perimeter, Augustin wide open in the corner, way off the mark, and it's Richards the rebound. We've seen a lot of Tia Montaigne today. Drew Winter, we talked about, had that injury early on. Here's Richards, tie ball game. Chance to make it a two point ball game. We mentioned Robert Morris, under head coach Charlie Buscalia in his second year, 15 and one when leading at the half. Tia Montaigne, sitting with four, Petty Evans out there with four. They're gonna keep him out there, keep Denise out there, even though she is one away from fouling out of this game. Ikamatsu wide open in the corner. Can't leave her alone, Keith. And at Sacred Heart. So these next five games, including this one, are really gonna test the medal of this team, and we'll find out where or where not they'll be in the conference tournament. Down low, good find. Jones hangs in the air, gets the bucket and the foul. 
That little split second of hesitation got well. Of uh, old and young on this squad that just make things happen when they count. And even though the Colonials will go back and at parts burn the film today, it's this part, this fourth quarter, that makes them who they are. Zebo to the basket, around and in. Neca is mentioned before, another win for them today. They've both got 10 wins in the conference. The last chance for some points here. Johnson to the hole, gets it in the foul. So Jada Johnson.